Hey guys, it's May May, and it's time for another scripture art journal. And this week's scripture comes from 2 Corinthians 5, 7. The scripture says, For we walk by faith and not by sight. And I have been really not, my faith has not been tested, but I've been tested by the comments I've seen from other people. Not on my channel, but I was on a, um, Facebook group or a Facebook, it might've just been a post where someone was posting about, um, their faith. And it wasn't even really that they were really talking about faith, but so many people started going, how can you believe in such a fictional book as the Bible? How can you have faith in something, um, so fake? How can you have faith in something there's no proof of and blah, blah, blah. They, all these things that as a Christian, I'm used to hearing when people challenge my faith. Well, it was so funny because I kept thinking, these same people who question this have faith in so many things nowadays that are so not faithful, you know, things that you can't trust. Like we put faith in our bank that our bank will be there, but we don't know that. We put faith that our home will always be standing. And I can tell you from experience that sometimes they can burn, <laughs> they can go away. Um, we put faith that our our finances will be stable. We put faith in our careers. We put faith in our families. We put faith in so many things and we cultivate that faith, but we find it hard to put faith in God who we can look on time and time again has done what he said. His promises are true. Generation after generation, his promises are true. And so I find it hard to not have the faith in God because I've seen what he's done for generation after generation in my family. I've seen what he's done in my own particular life. I've seen how when my faith in things fails, I still have my faith in him to bring me through. So I want to encourage you this week to focus on your faith and focus on how strong your faith is in God versus the world. Because man, we can get so bogged down in thinking that the world is what we need. Even even Christians, I know you think that's no way. I don't put my faith in the world. But we do because we think about our banks. We think about our incomes. We think about our medicines. We think about all these things. We put so much faith in them. I'm the same person that sometimes I forget that my faith really needs to lie in Christ. And so I want to focus on faith this week. And um, I'm going to focus myself on it as well. And the script, the way I'm going to do my art this week is kind of fun. I did a live show and we did this technique doing wood grain. And then we dropped, this is with oxide inks and I dropped some water on them. And I just love how this looks. It turned out so cool. And also <laughs> I'm mixing two things together. I have this plaque in our bathroom here at work that's done with wood grain and words and it's cool. And I'm going to let that inspire me. I tend to do that a lot. I'm going to score my page that goes into my journal every one inch. So just running down the page, doing this real quick. And then I'm going to do that wood grain with those oxides. You've seen me do wood grain a thousand times. You know I love wood grain and I do it all the time. But the oxide really changed it up for me. I thought it was really cool how it turned out looking. So we're going to do that again. I'm going to bring my little, this is my little like catch-all for um, inks and things like that. I'm going to use this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play and I'm going to like run one ink pad down here over one of those <laughs> and I'm just dragging these ink pads right onto uh, the surface and now this next one is going to go kind of over both but mostly on this neck on the next one and I'm not being real specific this plaque that I have in our bathroom I bought at Dollar General and it's like this it's multicolors of wood um, strips across like this in colors and I thought this would be cool to kind of just do it like this. It's going to look neat when it's done. It looks like a mess right now, but it's going to look cool in a few minutes. So lots of different colors making this ink or making this wood look and kind of mixing as it goes. That red's a little strong. Let's go to blue. I wasn't even paying attention. I was just picking up colors and using them. So let's go like that. See, it's cool how it mixes from one end to the other. I like that. In. This is iced spruce, which is a really pretty color. That's really all I need there. And then I'm not going to use that one. Let's use this cracked pistachio. I'm really not planning my colors out. I'm getting what I'm getting. So how it lands is how it lands. Very cool. Let's use some pink. So this is a uh, worn lipstick. I'm getting off my page a bit. Yep, I was afraid that was going to happen. I don't have much room to hold on to. Down here. I'm going to get that line. There we go. <laughs> Got it. And the orange. I'll flip it around and do the orange. 
to it like this. It just kind of looks like really colorful beach wood, you know? And then what I'm going to do, is I'm going to come back and with this walnut stain, I'm going to just lightly run across and try to catch those scored lines I made as much as I can. And I'm keeping my grain the same way because I want it to stay um, like the wood grain is going in the same direction. But I want to catch those scored lines to kind of show the, um, dif the definition in the wood, to show the differences. That looks really cool. I think it does anyway. I'm big on wood grain and that looks neat to me. Look how it ended up like that. I must have, I must have had a spot here that kind of did that, but that's all right. I like it. All right, then let's move this out of the way. I'm going to let this dry for a second while I come up with my idea for my um, scripture. I said I was going to let this dry, but I forgot something. In my video, I took a wet wipe. This is just a clean baby wipe and I just wiped across to kind of blend the color to itself. And I kind of like how that looked. It kind of smeared everything in good and kind of kind of did away with the stark white in the background, which I think is cool. So I'm just going to run this across. And we'll wipe this up here. And I'm also going to take, <laughs> because this worked, my water brush and just drop water all over this guy. Just big drops, little drops. It doesn't even matter. I'm going to let that sit and soak up. Now you might be wondering what kind of paper I'm using. I'm not using watercolor paper. This is just some Nina, I think it's 65 or 85 pound cardstock, or I mean, or 80 pound. So nothing fancy, just some cardstock. And I'm gonna pick that up with paper towels, but I'm gonna let it sit because I want it to really pick up those inks. Now I'm gonna take some paper towels and just lay over the top and pick all of that water up. I'm not trying to smear it. I really want it to be just like that. Can you see those little marks? Let me zoom you in. So can you see the weathered marks? Isn't that cool how that does that with the water, the way it picks up like that? I think I'm going to do it one more time. So you could do this with a squirter with like a spray bottle. I just didn't have one in the craft room. So I picked up what I had when I was on the live video that we did on Thursday. And this worked really well. So I just am going to do it again because I've got it here. I can even touch it if I want to be specific about where I want these drops. Oh, I could get real specific. And I feel like the longer I let this sit, the more the water um, activates. So let it sit for a minute. Look how it's kind of pooling right there. That's cool. Pick that one up. Just, oh yeah, that's good. That's good. I like that a lot. So I dried this with my heat tool a little bit to get it a little drier. And I'm going to do the We Walk by Faith and not by Sight on here. But I want Faith to be very much the focal point. And I am looking at my computer screen because I told you I've been working on some lettering. But I'm looking at my computer screen, screen to give me kind of a guideline for how I want to do my word. So I'm going to start here with faith. And I'm using these lines to my advantage as well, which I think will be awesome because I'll be able to kind of use them like a sheet of paper. So let's just see how we can do this. I don't love how this turned out. Let's see how I can erase. It erases fine on top of those oxides too. That's good. Doesn't seem to be lifting any oxide off. Yep, that's better. So there's the F in faith. Then, and I'm looking at all different um, types of lettering. And I'm just kind of making my own from them. I'm just mixing it all up. I'm not doing anything fancy or anything. That will be my word, faith. I'm going to go ahead and darken that in so I can see it. And now I'm really going to be fancy. I'm going to use a Sharpie. <laughs> I'm not using a special lettering pen. Just going to use a Sharpie. And I'm going to do what they call foligraphy. And that's where you kind of do this and then you go back and thicken up some of the lines on your own that the pen is not thickening up for you. Because like I said, this is just a Sharpie. And then something that I've learned is in, I'm not going to cross that T yet, in this type of lettering, you want a wide downstroke and a thin upstroke. So on this A, my wide downstroke will be here. So I'm going to thicken up this A, just where my downstroke would be, okay? 
I'm going to thicken up this eye because that would be a downstroke. Then this is an up, so I'm going to thicken up the outer part of this T because this would be a down. And then the same here, that's an up, this is a down. Then this part of the H is an up, this part is a down. Then I'll cross this T. And the same thing here, this is going to be a downstroke. That's an up, but it starts to down right here. And then it goes back up. So there's the word faith. I like that. That's pretty good. Now I'm going to put my marker up. I also like how my marker is going matte on these oxides. It's really cool. Up here I want to do We Walk By. So I'm going to use that line to my advantage. Just straight letters. I like to mix straight letters with cursive. Then I'm going to do and not by sight here. So I finished it this way. I might should have moved Faith up. I'm not gonna stress about it. This is how it's gonna be. I think that pink is really pretty up there too. So I think it's gonna be just fine. But in the future, or if you're gonna make something like this, maybe move it up, maybe a line. I should have penciled it all in first, but I didn't. So it is what it is. So we're gonna glue this in. That's so pretty, isn't it? I love how that looks. Taking inspiration from wall hangings. I do it all the time. Wall hangings, wall art home decor. I love to take inspiration from that. And this is very much where this came from. And using those oxide inks to drag, which we have, I did that for the first time on a live video. And I love, love how they turn out. So gluing that dude in. So there we go. It's all done. I love that page. I hope you guys enjoy that page too. And I hope you can spend some time reflecting on your faith this week. I'm going to erase while we talk. I see a little pencil mark. It's important to reflect on that. Even if you've been a Christian for a really long time, go back and reflect on your faith. When someone challenges your faith, are you prepared for your answer? Do you have um, the answer that God would want you to share? Do you know in your heart what your faith is and how strong it is and where it lies? I think it's important that we know that. I think it's important that we're in, ready in season and out of season when someone starts to challenge us on our faith. And um, it's just so interesting to me. It's such a, an interesting topic this week that came up off of Facebook for me. So I just wanted to share it with you. And I think you guys will have a lot to say about it. And I'll be able to learn a lot from you guys too about your faith. Thanks so much for watching this week, guys. I will see you again next week. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.